us too. Anyway, we're gonna uh, will you stick around? Sure. All right, having a nice half of Victoria, huh? <laughs> we're gonna show you a few of the best ingredients you'll need for the perfect aphrodisiac dinner in tonight's Getting It. Getting it. And here to teach us about the appetizing world of aphrodisiacs is Chef Michelle Block. Oh, wow. So, aphrodisiacs, huh? Yes. Now, you have a cookbook out yes. about aphrodisiacs? Well, it's coming out pretty soon. I'm oh, writing a cookbook about aphrodisiacs. Great. And I've been a private chef here in L.A. I'm from Right for Malibu. the stars, yeah. Mm hmm Oh, ah, good for you. So, we've all heard about aphrodisiacs. I mean, uh, Victoria, have you? Uh, I've heard about it, but yeah. I don't know much about it. That's yeah. why I'm here, so. <laughs> well, either do I. What, what, what is... What is an aphrodisiac? An aphrodisiac is any activity or substance that piques amorous desire. Ah. Oh. So the setting. The so Victoria would be an aphrodisiac. <laughs> yes, she would there you be. Go. The candles, the ambiance. Wow, great! And how do they like uh, affect you? I mean, is it? Well, they get you in the mood by looking and seeing and smelling and tasting and. Feeling in wow. your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> they yes. get you in the mood for some action. <laughs> oh, I love my first day on the job. <laughs> what do we have uh, first? Now, tell us what's uh, what. Like, if we wanted to start a dinner for someone, where would we begin? With some appetizers. We have oysters here on the half shell. Wow, yes. That. And oysters are the queens of aphrodisiacs, uh, recorded in. History wow. in all literature. And Can we, uh, yeah, we can try some? Ah, look at that. Should we have some of that red sauce? Yeah, yeah. a little red sauce. They're nice. also very mm. high in zinc, mm. which is an essential mineral for men to produce uh, sperm. Oh, sp <laughs> oh, sperm's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. They're great for hormones. Mm. Oh. Sensational. Oh my god. Wow. So, uh, this is, uh, okay, oysters. Yeah. What do we have? Uh, we after also this? have um, baked brie. Baked brie. With almonds and apricots. And wow, that's sensational. Now, all right, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to, uh, let me have a little piece of this. Now, I hear baked brie. I'm a guy. I don't want to bake anything. <laughs> I, you know, it's look at this really thing. easy. Um, well, actually, all you do is go to the frozen food section in any market uh -huh. and get puff pastry sheets and almond preserves. I mean, almonds and apricot preserves, and you just throw it together, wrap it up, put it in the oven for a half hour, and there you go. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, the almonds. That is just so aphrodisiac like. Stink like normal cheese. It's uh, good. Huh? No, it's really good. Yeah. See, apricots are also they remind us of female body parts. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> right now, everything looks like a female body part. <laughs> and almonds are high in protein, amino acids that create uh, dopamine, a mm -hmm. neurotransmitter in the body that felicitates erection, orgasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Wonderful. Let's yeah. uh, keep it moving. What's uh, next? And next, we have a Mediterranean platter. And the Mediterranean platter has hummus and baba ganoush. Oh, baba ganoush. What is baba ganoush? <laughs> I'll show you what baba ganoush is. <laughs> I never heard of that in Sweden. What is that? Baba ganoush is made of eggplant and tahini and some nutmeg, my favorite as aphrodisiac wow, spice. Wow, look at this. Oh, that's got a weird shape. It's kind of slimy <laughs> looking. Great yeah. leaves. Yeah. The, um, yeah, you eat it. No, 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 you eat it. <laughs> yeah, the hummus is great because it's also high in protein. All right, I'll have a little and hummus. Is this the hummus? it creates right the there? dopamine. It was said that in the, in the perfume candle, an aphrodisiac book, that a king mm -hmm. ate a dinner of garbanzo beans, which that's what that's made out of. Oh, wow. And de-virginized 80 women in a Doesn't single night. Doesn't beans make you like boom, boom, boom? 80 yeah. women? Oh. Oh my God! Eighty women. All right, so these that? are that's the uh, the dinner and the appetizer and, and, and right. what uh, like what do you have anything for dessert? Yes. But dessert's always a cool thing. Oh right? yeah, we have dessert. <laughs> we have strawberries and raspberries. Oh wow! Chocolate. That's 
should always oh. be served with some champagne, though. Oh, right? yes. Yeah, yeah, Strawberries oh, are yeah. perfect with champagne. Strawberries. When dipped in chocolate, they're even more sensual. Do you want some of this? They Is are. Is this okay? <laughs> You gotta dip a little more, baby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you mean uh, me or the strawberry? Yeah, both. Oh. There you go. They're delicate oh. fruit. Oh. <laughs> That's very nice. Very. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. Okay, great. Here you go. Oh, this one. thank you. Uh, I gotta try some of this. Yes, these are um, delicate fruit nipples that oh. invite love. Yes, they are. <laughs> Aren't they? Delicate, very delicate, yeah. And mm. we also have some licorice oh, I brought here for Chris. Victoria. Oh, that love is licorice. very popular yeah. in Sweden. This is what I grew up on. Oh, yeah, oh, they're high in estrogen. That's why I'm a claimant, huh? Yes, oh, wow. <laughs> high in estrogen, which is a female. Very nice. Mm. Female. Licorice really has all that stuff in it? Oh, yes, okay, licorice great. is really Well, I'll tell you what, I like uh, a little cheers here to uh, conclude this little... Mm, party, so we say. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's it. How about a nice half for Michelle Block? If you would like to enlist in the culinary expertise of Michelle, contact her at adscience.com slash chef Michelle. And remember, if you want another dose of Victoria Silfstead, tune in tomorrow at 10 p.m. for Son of the Beach, right here on FX. There's more next show coming your way. You'll learn how to defy gravity with a frisbee, and we're going to keep you dialed in with some high tech phones. Plus, adult film cult hero Colin Malone sits down with Sammy Hagar. Don't miss it.